I put a poll on YouTube reference to unilateral training and whether you are mindful of which side you start with, which opened up a little bit of dialogue where I touched briefly on testing versus training. This is just how I do it. It seemed like a good enough example because I've just started training for plate flips last month, whereby I always start with the weaker side and then meet that rep count with the strongest. However, that's training, so each side will get exactly the same amount of attention for all the working sets but as a finisher maybe even just once every month or two I will allow the strong side to crack on basically and see what it's actually capable of so in this instance I got five on the left and ten on the right and my rule is I have to double back to the weak or tight side so go back to the left and mop up those remaining reps so I've got to get another five to meet the ten even if it's singles so you're finally letting the strong dog off the lead to go where he wants and then the runt is forced to catch up this is decent because you should be able to monitor that gap getting smaller and smaller I'll test again in a month or so and the proof will be in the pudding on a plate